It walks downstairs, alone or in pairs, and makes a clinkety sound. The market is making a clinkety sound as it heads where, Terry? Downtown to Chinatown. That's right. So I did a little buy-in, bought some bid before the market opened. This certainly, at the moment, looks like a great pickup. It could easily crash and burn, but... Looking at Bitto right now, it's at 1773. So I did buy a thousand shares at 1628. Very nice. AGQ, I don't think that is done much. AGQ is a two times bull on silver. AGQ currently at ooh, 3160. So I bought 2,000 shares at 3183. Uh let's see. AG first majestic silver. Currently at 484, I bought 3,000 shares at 481. GDXU, which is a three times bull on GDX, currently at, ooh, where are you at? There you are, 3485. So I bought 2,250 shares at 3470. The odd number just, I wanted to uh, have a round number as far as total is concerned. So that's why I did the 2250. AGQ uh, sold 10, 30 strike contracts, expired on the 16th, collected 1,050 bucks. Short and sweet update today because Maya Coco in the room next to me has a proctored online Spanish exam and it's an exam that she must pass in order to graduate next spring so she is entering her senior year at purdue boiler up got a sweatshirt on in the summer because coco likes to keep it really cold up here so that's that let's look at the whoa where are we at 1982 that's a pretty good year 1982 Two. One minute you're at 2.19 million, and the next minute you're at 1.982. But what goes down must come up as well. Is this the end of times? It is not. I expect before the week even ends, we're going to have a nice little rally. But by the look and feel of that rally, based on its uh, wave movement, Fibonacci, it could be it's maybe sounding the alarm for another sell off next month. So we got to keep an eye on all that. Devon Energy is just whew, making my butt stink. Clean Spark. Oh, downtown the Chinatown. In fact, I was going to buy some more Clean Spark. Let's look at the Clean Spark. 11.92. You remember I took, well, if you've watched the videos, um, I did take possession of Clean Spark on some puts one at seven, 10 contracts at 17, 10 contracts at, at 1650. So that's why we have the 1675 on the um, average there on the 2000 shares. How low was it this morning? Ooh, 1010. Whew. I'll, maybe I'll wait just in case it's not over. Um, but yeah, basically everything in the portfolio is green except for what? X, SPXU which is an inverse of the SPX. So that's the only reason that is in the green today. Probably head over to the pawn shop soon while Coco's taking her exam and might pick up some more physical silver because we get, like to get physical, physical. All right, so like I said, let's do short and sweet. Let's take a look at the Bitcoin though. If you checked out the video yesterday, I said I was really looking for this to hold. So we'd have a hold and pivot here, but at the time of that video, is it did exactly this. It broke down and then it broke back up. So I'm like, hey, that looks pretty good. And then of course, today it just went all the way underwater. I did put this on yesterday after the video, because I mentioned in the video, if we can't hold this, then we're probably going down to 50,000, but we really need to hold that 50,000 and look what's happened. Now, by no means is this over. But I think so far, so good as far as the four horsemen of hope. Let me look at oil, though. Oil has really ripped my heart out lately. And we've got what? Crude oil at 72.89. So it's certainly come off of its low of the day. So USO and oil, crude oil still hasn't shown its hand as to where it's going next. I still have hope it's going up. But that is the short and sweet of it. I spent some money today looking at Bitcoin to hold. 
uh, here and maybe rocket ship back up. We'll see. But thanks for tuning in. Like, subscribe, comment. I'll see you in the next video.